What up team? It's Chris over at the Michigan location. So we get a lot of questions about the master controller. How to hook it up, how to program it, how to do certain features, and how does it work? Don't worry, as always, you know I got you. Take a trip with the Grow Bro, let's figure this thing out. Your touchscreen master controller is gonna come with these eye hooks here that will attach directly to your tent and to the back of your controller, making it for easy mounting right on the front of your tent. You will have power cords ran from the wall down to the bottom here. And then also you'll have your RJ11 cable that you're gonna run to your controller. Once you got them set, you plug this guy into the corresponding 12 volt direct connect slot right there. Boom. Once you do that, your touchscreen master controller should light up, letting you know that the power is there. Now, when you first get your master controller, it's not gonna say white, red, or blue. Unfortunately, that's not pre-programmed. You get to program that yourself. Um, it is gonna say channel one, two, and three. So if you wanna change those guys, you're gonna come right down here, system settings, and you can literally name your channel right here. So I have this guy named White, just to show you. You click on it, it pulls up the name White, okay? You'll change the name, you'll click yes, and that's gonna program the channel for you. Time setting. You can click on the time and set your time up and down. It is military time, okay? So if you're not familiar with military time, you are able to Google it. It is readily available on Google. It just makes it for easier programming, all right? So since my time is correct right here, I'm not gonna mess with that. Once you've properly selected your time and named your channels accordingly, you're gonna come right up here to this blue one and it's gonna take you back to the home screen where your time should be right. You should see your channels with their corresponding names. All right, very important. If you notice in the top right corner, it says zone one and zone two. It's a two zone controller. You can literally work two zones from it. So make sure that you're on the corresponding zone you want to be on. I want to be on zone one because that's where I'm at and that's what I have everything programmed on. Since I'm on zone one, I'm going to take my RJ11 cable and hook it into that zone one. All right, once you do that, come to your fixture and flip it from manual to controller. Woo, let there be light. Now, once you've got the correct zone hooked up at this point now, you are able to control your individual channels. Now, if you only have two channels, if you got a, a fixture that only comes with two dimmers, you're not gonna, you'll, you'll have three channels, but you'll have to deactivate one of those channels, which I'm gonna show you how to do now. If your fixture came with a double dimmer, you don't have three channels to work, you're only gonna have the two. So what you'll do is right here, channel one, channel two, you'll click on channel three. Now you're only working two channels, just to show you. Even on mine now, with the triple dimmer, I have now disengaged one channel, so now only the white and the red are gonna run. Oh, if I actually put my finger on the red, there we go. So if you have two channels, you're gonna be kind of in this ballpark, okay? So you'll get rid of one channel, you'll have white and red on one, blue and white on the other, and you'll program it to just run the two channels, okay? Because this one has three channels, I'm gonna, dis I'm gonna engage, not disengage, I'm gonna engage this last channel again so that I can work these blues, see? Now your auto sunrise and auto sunset is really cool, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these guys down, that way I'm not blinding myself no more, perfect. You're going to the timer mode. And if you see, we've got different events here. Now, this is one that I made shortly after I, I started messing with this thing. Um, it's not going to be a direct representation of your sunrise and sunset, but if you look, it does increase and decrease throughout a certain period of the day, just to kind of show you guys the capabilities. All right. So if you guys are looking to set that up, here's how you do that. All right. To do that auto sunrise and auto sunset, you'll come into settings under timer mode. Boom. 
and it pulls up the entire schedule. Now you see there's an on off switch where you can uh, maneuver whether or not you want that specific event actually running for that day or not. But you'll literally click on it, it lets you adjust the time and the intensity you want for that time. You'll click yes, it brings it back and you go down and you do it accordingly, all right? If you're doing an auto sunrise, auto sunset, you'll have an ascending intensity and then you'll have a descending intensity towards the end of your light day. When you've got all that awesome auto sunrise and auto sunset setting put in there, you'll click the back button. It's gonna take you back to this screen. At this point, you can preview what your auto sunrise and auto sunset looks like. It takes you on a 24 hour loop that is kind of sped up as you can see. It takes my, I think mine kicks on at like two o'clock. There it goes, boom. Boom, see all the, see the intensity changing? And then the end of the day, and it even goes off. That's how you preview your auto sunrise and auto sunset. And as you see, mine's just now getting to the end of my 24 hour day. Now, this is super important. A lot of people have said, okay, I get it in timer mode, but then whenever I go back to the home screen, it doesn't keep my timer. Well, yeah, to go back to the home screen, you have to exit the timer mode. And we typically don't wanna do that. So this would now be your new home screen showing you your chart, showing you your map, and letting you know where everything's at. So keep in mind, if you do an auto sunrise, auto sunset, or any timed programming, this becomes your home screen after you set it. You typically don't leave from here. That way you keep your timer engaged. All right, after that, you should have smooth sailing and you shouldn't really have many issues. Just remember, as long as you're plugged into the right zone, and as long as you have the fixture on controller, you should be covered and ready to roll. All right, guys, have a good day.